A very good evening to you all. It is six o'clock. That means, of course, we've got a brand new one-day special. I'm delighted to be launching Prima as well. We've got a fabulous guest with us. Of course, Anthony's here. We'll be introducing him shortly. But we're just looking at some of the samples from the one-day special and the other products that we've got on the show as well. Lots of mediums. We've got moulds. We've got rub-ons. We've got all sorts of goodness for you. And I can say I've got my eye on the one-day special already. You are going to love it. You absolutely are. Well, we're off to a good start because I know you're buying already. So that's great news. And why wouldn't you? Let's have a look at this one day special. But before then, I've got to say good evening to our wonderful guest. It's Anthony Minnis, of course. Good evening, good Catherine. Evening. Hello. Hi. It's been a while since it I've seen you. It has been a while, hasn't it? It has. Yes. Yeah. Oh, how are you? I'm not too bad, thank you very much. Yourself? Good. I'm very well, good, good. very well. Yes, excited to be launching Prima again. Because, of course, everybody knows I love clay, I yep. love my moulds, I, I love Prima. You're, you're the same as me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to the One Day Special, Anthony, oh, yeah. wow, I didn't pick out a favourite <gasps> straight oh, away. I'm so did. pleased yeah. to see my absolute favourite as part of the One Day Special. Brand, brand new, these are absolutely gorgeous, both of them. But let's have a look at these because, oh, the detail is incredible. Huge moulds as well, five by eight inches. You've got the Avery and the Butterfly in flight. Now, the reason I love that butterfly so much, Anthony, is because you've got the postage marks You as have well. the postage marks on there as well. Yeah, it's something a little bit different, but it works just so, so well. And it's all the other elements that are in, you know, both the moulds. And in, in total, there's 20 elements in these moulds. Wow. Now, when normally you buy a mould, you maybe get, like two or three elements possibly but over both molds 20 elements if that you were to lot. break that down into individual molds molds start from about eight pounds yep, onwards yep, each they do, don't even they? some of the small ones so the value in this is absolutely amazing and as i said the detail is phenomenal again you with can see quality. that as we're looking at this well we are busy already approaching 10 percent of the stock has gone who doesn't love butterflies that's what mm. i want to know but the fact that you've got those postage stamps in there as well you're going to use these they're absolutely timeless and then of course we've got the aviary as well we've got the branches we've got the flowers we've yeah. got the birds in there absolutely beautiful just going to let everybody know about the dispatch date because of course these are coming across from america of course so right across the board it's two weeks delayed dispatch 24th of november but the time is just galloping ahead isn't it it's not long to wait at all and of course at the start of the show we saw some wonderful samples made by anthony we can see some more here as well and you really can see the detail that you're getting from these molds and if you want to add lots of color you can if you want to keep it you know just just use your air dry clay and very little color a little bit of ink on there these are going to work perfectly oh you must have had fun with these Anthony had loads of fun do you know what the um the one with the blossoms on I just love that because yeah. you can put that round so many things it's just that finishing touch it obviously works really well with the butterflies that's on the other mold so both molds work really well together but yes, I have loved working with them. It's something a little bit different as well from Prima, yes, I think, this I time. Think so. um, but the, like I say, the blossoms are really, really nice. They're going to work around um, your picture frames. They're going to be used for your mixed media. So whether you like your, your, your power text, you can put your power text clay in there. The quick cure clay had my friend yes, just last, last Thursday week. she was on uh, she did a cracking job there um, so you can be using that in here we've got FMM uh, clay on the show you can also be using um, other air drying clays as well like hearty pouring medium so you can be using clays but that's just talking about your crafting then obviously all these molds are food grade silicon yeah. as well so you can be using them for your cake decorating if you so wish so things like your fondants or your chocolates will also go in here as well amazing fabulous well we are off to a busy start on today i can tell you that a six pound saving on the one day special 29 pounds and 98 pence five eight seven three four four now the saving is always in the one day special but individually you can go for molds as well so we'll bring the details up now it's not just the two that we've got in the one day special they are available individually so if you want to do that then you can but we've also got another two to show you as well so let's have a look at these again these are huge molds five inches by eight inches we've got the coral wreath and we've got our sea maiden there yes. isn't it nice to call her a sea maiden rather than a mermaid i know yeah yes. <laughs> a little bit posh <laughs> but I, i've loved these molds as well you know i've used um molds before that have got coral on and do you know what the corals never ever come out but with these ones they definitely do the quality the depth is just 
absolutely perfect and the size of all those elements is wonderful you're going to get um, in total let's have a look on the one with the, the sea maiden you're actually going to get the sea maiden and the coral at the bottom they're actually one part but obviously where it comes to your clay you can easily just um, separate those two items you then got another two so like seaweeds going up there you then got four fish on the other mold and then another four different corals there so you are going to have amazing fun creating something sort of like nautical themed uh, with those ones fantasy as well because obviously you've got the mermaid or oh. sea maiden <laughs> well, we are getting very very busy do you know what i can't see the word on the screen but i've just been informed hmm. that it's sea maven 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 with that's even posher isn't it <laughs> it is, isn't it? Look at that now. If you like what she's holding there, that it looks like a crystal ball. It Stay with does. us. We'll talk about those. Yeah. Yes, we've got those coming up as well. So seventeen ninety nine for the individual mold. So remember those from the one day special available individually as well. The two that we've just been looking at available individually. Item number three eight six four six seven. Now we've also got some rub-ons for you as well. These are really nice as well because they're brand new for one thing, but also the detail is so, so fine here. And Anthony, I know you're going to be using these in demonstration yeah, as well. Yeah, first demonstration. So you're going to get the, the monochrome ones, they're the black, and then you've got the colourful ones, two different options to, to go uh, for there. You get a little lolly stick obviously to apply them. The easiest thing, you know, when people sometimes get these, they try to use or, or, or rub straight from the actual sheet. I always tend to actually cut the element out yeah. that I want and it just makes it a little less fiddly to actually apply it to the project. It does and also if you keep it on the sheet, you do have a tendency to kind of S accidentally some stick that you don't some through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Indeed you do. Yeah. Love it. So what sort of surf surfaces can we put these on well, then, Anthony? Um, any any flat surfaces, you can you can put them on glass, but you will obviously need to seal it if it's going to come into contact with water. Okay. So yeah, all of your papers, um, MDF it's going to work on. Just make sure, especially with MDF, there's no dust on it. Um, but any, anything um, that is, has got a flat surface that's going to work on. I've actually got something that um, we've had in one of our past shows that is the mulberry paper, which is slightly textured. It oh, will actually go on those as well. Yeah. So, oh, wonderful. Yeah, just have a play. Well, we have got those two options. We've just been looking at them. So we've got uh, the Versailles and also the Strasbourg as well, which are those beautiful flowers. There we are. 275366 is the item number, just £10.98. pence. Now the watercolour one. Oh no, the oh the one that oh the Versailles is that the most popular? I'm not surprised mm, to be honest. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the watercolour fancy not far behind as well. Oh, they are very nice. I love my flourish, you see, so I know which one I'd be going for. If I could afford them both, I certainly would be. Now then, let's have a look what we've got here next because we've got some papers for you as well, and these are absolutely beautiful. These are A4. Now wait until, well the price is there on the screen, I was going to say, wait until you see it. £13.99 is going to get you the A4 paper pad. There are 30 double-sided sheets. Now rather than me spinning these around, we've sort of selected these so you can see them. And we're just going to turn that horizontally just so we've got a better view of it. Those feathers are gorgeous. So I'm showing you kind of both sides at once here because we've separated these so I don't have to flip them around for you. So Anthony, yeah. right again here, a, a fantastic paper pad this because you've yep. got the really sort of dramatic colours in here. You've got beautiful detail. You've got light backgrounds. You've got dark backgrounds as well. You've got non-directional papers. Yeah, which is which is really good actually because often when you use papers, you think, oh damn, it doesn't go horizontally. But these they they are really really great. Yeah, multi-directional. Um, you're going to get ones with lots of details that you can possibly snip into as, as well. Beautiful. So don't just use it in its entirety. Just cut out little elements there. You know and. Uh, all the papers run coated as well so if you want to add your own color using your distress inks then you can be doing that as well or stamping on just to make them a little bit more personalized and ones with tags on again there's just something for everyone 30 sheets in total there's um i do believe six different designs and five sheets of wow, each look at that. these are truly stunning mm. so some of them non-directional oh that's my favorite that's, that's lovely <gasps> isn't it that's that. my favorite <laughs> oh that's so nice and the color oh Oh, yes, many of these non-directional, fantastic value there, £13.99. Can't give you a GSM. These are coming from America. They tend not to go in GSMs. It's more done by pounds, but it's a really, really good way. You can feel the quality. 424-799 is the item number. 
and then we've got some amazing stencils for you as well now it is a choice so you've got one item number two different choices here let's have a look at these so you've got your floral Oh, floral net, that is called, I can see why it's yes. called that. Yes, isn't it beautiful? Lace, mm. isn't it? And read my letter, anything with script, I love. Just 10 99 and these have Finibear on as a name there. That's who the designer is, 397359, and the size of these is 6 inches by 9 inches. Does that pattern repeat? Can you sort of extend on that, Anthony? It looks as though it probably I will do. I think you possibly could, but I maybe not. Ooh, we'll have actually to see looking we can at that. Check on that. The, the the script one I I really like because often when you get script, they're actually quite bold. Yeah. This one is really quite fine, so it, it doesn't. It's not the focal point. It is really nice uh, background stencil. Um, again, all your medium is going to go through it that you'd normally put through stencils, so your texture, paste, etc. And obviously, where it comes to clean them just pop them in the water and just gently go over them with um, a microfiber cloth that's what I tend to do I am trying to read that actually I think you if we spent proper time office is there look you see I think that's in English <laughs> 10 pounds and 99 pence 397 359 is the item number let's go to the <coughs> website that's where we're going to find everything and more as well I did mention at the top of the air we've got lots of fabulous mediums for you as well we've got alchemy paints for you we've got uh, sculpture mediums I know Auntie's going to be using those extravagant paste oh snowflake paste nonetheless mm. and we've got uh, micas for you as well we've all oh, the art pebbles i've got to explain oh, about those yes. we've got brand new stamps for you as well we've got <coughs> the fmm clay as well there's the stamps we've got both of those for 14.99 i have got those here as well so i can show you those really lovely stamps anything with prima's name on you know you're getting quality as well of course now, $14.99, and you are getting both of these. It's not an option. You will get them both. Really lovely stamps there. They're re really great for mixed media because they are the cling ones, so they are sort of like rubber. So you can be using paints with, uh, to stamp with, and I just love the Prima stamps. Yeah. Uh, admittedly, um, I, I've uh, given one of my old uh, sets to somebody, and they have absolutely fallen in love with them because they are just so versatile. Oh, fabulous. Mm. Wonderful. Now, Anthony, I can see you've got my favourite <gasps> mould in front of you. Fa favourite one? <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is indeed a beautiful mould. Now, if you've never, ever used a mould before, you know, don't be frightened, OK? It's probably something completely different from what you've ever used before, but don't be frightened. All you're going to need is some corn flour, OK? And you can be using some um, cooking oil, okay? OK? Now, the reason I've brought the cooking oil into this particular one is because of the antennae, OK? And... Often when I've used uh, moulds in the past and it's got really fine detail, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the air dry clay out. So I'll just show you how to actually use the oil within the moulds as well. So normally I would say you can actually dust these out. Now I know from yourself, Catherine, and me also, that when you actually use clay quite a lot, you know the feel of it when yeah. you can actually use it. So with FMM clay, it is slightly drier than um, other air drying clays out there. And it will come to you uh, white. I have actually coloured it just using some of the hearty brown clay. OK, so you can mix those two clays together. OK, now, like I said, it's slightly drier. So I'd say near enough, sort of like nine times out of ten, you can put this into the mould straight away without it actually sticking. But obviously, I know that you're probably going to be using uh, other clays as well. So I just tend to put some corn flour on a brush and then just brush that actually into the mould. Now what that's okay. going to be doing is just going to be giving a little coating so if there is any moisture in there that's going to um, dry it up. But like I said we've got these antennae. Now I can put corn flour in there and I still think it would probably actually stick. So I have got a little bit of cooking oil here that I'm just going to basically just squeeze into those antennae and then that's just going to help release those. Okay and just with a tool I'm just going to pop that into there so I know that has coated them. Okay, well, we are very busy on the one day special. In fact, 20% of the stuff already gone. I am not surprised. As soon as I saw these, I thought, these oh, are going know, to fly. It, it, literally. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the pun. <laughs> so we are just popping the clay into the mould there. Okay, and my preference is, like I say, the FMM clay because I just find it so easy to work with but as I said you can be using resins in here because all of these molds um, are very similar in, in design to the molds 
from Zuri. They're all flat, so you can be putting all of your resins in there as well, and it won't pour in one yeah. end and pour out the other. So as long as you keep it flat. Have a, if, you, if your mould's flat, you've still not got over <laughs> the problem of it pouring the wrong way if your counter's not flat. That's right. So <laughs> yeah, I like that's to true. test the counters at a chander every time I've got the resin out. Oh, you get the spirit level. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so what I'm doing now, I'm just pushing the clay into there even though you're just like pressing it across the surface it's not going deep down so you want to just compress the clay actually into the butterflies and tenais. Okay. Yeah when you've got those small areas like that Anthony sometimes it's almost as though the silicon has folded over a little bit at the top and there's more of an opening underneath so you've got to really it, push Indeed it down, yeah you have you've really just got to just press that clay in okay so then just I'm using a Dresden tool I know that you Normally when it comes to moulds you just use your fingers, so I use like both really, but... Yeah, um, there's the odd occasion I might use a tool, yeah. especially something like the antenna, yeah. or the end of a rounded paintbrush, I often use that. Yes, that's, that's really good, or a ball tool, anything yeah. that basically is not going to cut into the silicon mould. So once you're happy, just make sure that all of the clay is tucked back and within the actual main design. Okay, right. and let's just put a little bit more just down here as well. So this mould in total gives you 12 different elements. You know, like I say, when you start looking, looking at individual moulds, you know, they start, I would say, from about £8 a piece. So you can see the value just in this mould alone, let alone the other one, which has another eight elements, giving you, like I say, 20 in total. So when you're happy with that, if it's going to be um, seen from this side, then what I'd recommend is just get a rolling pin and... Um, just flatten it out, yeah. but normally I think um, you're, you're going to be putting that onto something, okay? Just got to make sure it's compacted right down yep. to pick up that detail. So when you're happy with that, just flex the mould. And the real great thing about these moulds is because they are quite um, a, a, a thick silicon, they do just tend to lift things out really quite easily. So you can see the back part has gone. So now I'm just going to fold that in half, OK, and then we're just going to go for the antennae. And hopefully that silicon has done the trick. Let's just make sure. Oh, no, we've, we've lost one. Let me just go back in there. I so say, don't worry if that does happen. Just go back in and just press that in there. I so say with these sort of things, you're going you're gonna to have a little bit of a problem to start but you'll soon get to to know why well, let's have another go there is another little trick that i like with the flimsy bits of well i say flimsy we the, the more vulnerable areas yeah. of the molds as well you know when we'll you get your i said on. this earlier on leblanche actually mm. if you've got your flowers and you cut yeah, those yeah. those wires off don't ever throw those wires away they're so useful but what you could also do is put a little bit of wire into mm. the entire into the clay so it's buried into the clay and that will also help right so that means as well anthony when the clay is dry you can actually position it position on the wire. as well because with the FMM clay, I know it's such a good clay, you can manipulate it even when it's right, dry. Right, yes. So once we've got our little butterfly there, and I've just, I have stuck his antennae back on, we're going to just form him, OK? So sometimes I use um, like a, um, a reel of masking tape to put him in, but this time I'm just going to use a little piece of card. OK, okay I've folded one end like so. We're just going to fold that. So this is just basically so he can dry with his wings sort of raised. OK, yeah. okay so we'll just pop that on there. We're just going to pop him on there. So when he dries fully, and I would say so like a couple of hours, he's going to be dry and then just leave that like so, and then he'll dry exactly as you see Perfect. him. So let's just quickly um, go into some of the other ones because the detail in this particular um, <coughs> postage mark is amazing. So again, just go in with some of the corn flour there okay. and then just push that in. Now where you've got lettering, you really do need to make sure that you really press that nicely into the mold. Okay, so just keep on pressing that down. Again, I'm just using the tool, but you can use your fingers. And then once you've got all of that pressed down there, then again, it's just a case of flexing that mould, like so, from both sides, like so, and then just lift, lift that out. And what oh, I really yeah. love about these, if oh, I wow. actually hold that one up, you can see all of the letters there. 
You what I like about amazing. it is that the letters are actually distressed as well, so they're not perfect. Yeah. So although it looks like I've missed pieces, that is no, exactly how, how the mould is meant to be. So that is the detail you're going to be getting. But you can see that clearly says uh, New York. So Love it. absolutely amazing they are detail. They're so useful, aren't they? Oh, they are. So drying, I always pop them on a piece of kitchen cloth. Yep. Now let's just go to the other mould that is in the one day special, which is the beautiful the Avery. Avery, which has got the birds there and you've got the blossom as well. So again, I'm just going to dust a little bit of that out, just like so. And again, because you're using clay, you don't have to use the entire mould. So we're just going to go for just the blossom on the end there. Okay. Now somebody said to me, um, are these forget-me-nots? And I said, no, I think it's actually tree blossom. But do you know what? It doesn't really matter because it can be any flower you want it to be, it depending on the colour that you actually uh, paint them after. Now when it comes to paint, obviously we've got paints on the show here, but you can be using um, acrylic paints and basically any medium that can be used um, uh, to um, Sorry, they can be used with your paper crafting, okay? Okay. So now we are bringing the details of the alchemy paints, actually, Anthony. I love that. I've got that. to pick a mix. Oh. oh, tell us about these. Is you just oh. putting that in there? Do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just say one thing, right? Get the white pearl. That's all I'm white, saying. Oh, white pearl. There's a tip <laughs> for Absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. We have got them on a pick and mix for you. Oh, these are nice size pots, aren't they? 50 millilitres. They You've got emerald green. You've got coral reef. Dark forest. White Pearl, that's Anthony's favourite. Oh, yeah. Brass Hardware is in there as well, and Deep Waters as well. Deep yeah. Waters, is that bluey green? That is one? that, that <gasps> this, mm, oh, yeah. Oh, the Emerald Green's lovely. Look at that. All the these emerald are green. beautiful. They, they are all beautiful, but like I say, the White Pearl is just something a little bit different. A little oh, bit iridescent nice. as well in this. Um, although it's white, it actually comes out blue on yeah. black. The pearl on the bottle there, the... the um, the sea maven is holding is actually um, painted from the, the reverse using the white pearl and that's why when you get it in a certain light you'll see it's got that blue tinge to it oh fabulous so let's just take this one out of the mold and again all of those fantastic flowers the oh, blossoms there look at lovely. that and you could i presume anthony take individual flowers out if you wanted to those that well, look as though they're on the surface well, there. do you know what you could do but you don't have to because there's actually individual flowers as well ah. so the thought of everything there's even a branch without any blossom on so you can actually create your own tree this would actually be really great. Not that I've had time to do it, but you could actually create a family tree could, using this. You? So lots of different ways you can be using the two um, f fabulous moulds in the one day special. Amazing. So with your clay, once you've actually finished with it, just pop that back inside an airtight bag and just make sure you get as much air out as you possibly can and then seal that up. Okay. Right, so we've got that part done and like I say, they're going to be drying overnight. The next bit is going to be a little bit messy. Okay. Oh, we like messy. We like messy, don't I do we? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> right. Now, this is what we're actually going to be achieving. So, this is a fabric hardener, but if you're going to be using um, papers as well, you can actually sculpt your papers with this. So, what it actually is, there's two different variants. You're going to get either the, the natural beige or you're going to get the transparent. Oh, wonderful. If you've got some really fancy fabric that you actually want to cast like this, then you're going to be wanting to use the, the clear one or the transparent one. But if you're going to be painting over it, then I'd recommend that you actually go for the, the natural, the beige one. Okay, I know okay. you love this stuff, don't you? You've told <gasps> me before how much you like like this. Oh yeah. Great price on it as well. We've got Jeez. the details there for you. 13.99. Now the clear is the most popular. Ah. I suppose with the clear then. Yeah. Um Anthony, would that mean then I know you just said if you've got a fabric you want to see use the clear. Yes. But if you just go for the clear and you're not going for both. Could you still paint over the clear as well if you did want to yes, change the colour of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I can yes, see can why indeed. that is so popular yeah, yeah, then, yeah. but both amazing. 13.99 There you can see that is for the clear. That's there on the screen for you now. 250 millilitres there as well. Now, we'll just point out this is only for internal use, OK? So okay. it's not something you can actually decorate and then put outside. Now, although it has got a squeezy um, lid on there, do you know what? It's, it's sometimes quicker to actually pour it out okay? okay and you will need quite a bit you can actually soak it in there in a pot okay 
but really you want to sort of like massage this in for about two minutes or, right. or so. I'm obviously not going to spend that long doing now it. I can see you're you wearing gloves, Anthony. Is that just because you don't want it on your hands or you would Yeah, because I've got a clean them? bit of crafting afterwards. But right. <laughs> yeah, if you, you know, get it on your skin, it's just a case of washing it off. Yeah, it, it wash, is. It hurt. is. No, no. But, yep, yeah, so, you know, if, if you don't like messy crafting or, you know, it is, it's up to you. It is water-based, okay, yeah. so yes, you can wash that off. But basically, uh, you just want to keep a massage in that in, and you'll, you'll see all of a sudden it's giving you that sort of like starch-type look. Okay. And then literally, you just want to lay it over what you want to decorate. So in this, in this case, I've just got a piece of MDF, and you can literally just keep on going and keep on moving the folds until you're happy. And then once you're actually happy with that, it's going to take probably about 24 hours to dry okay. and then that's it. It is. It, it, wait, it, it's though, gone. Anthony, it is. It? If you're going to be wanting to do a canvas, maybe you've just got some strips of old fabric that you want to do, then just layer them all up, soak them, and then you can actually paint over it. If you find that this has still got a little bit of give after it's dried, then just simply um, use a sculpting medium as a paint thereafter. Oh, just okay? brush it over the top. Yeah, just brush over the top. And that's, that's what I've often uh, done with okay, quite well, a few things. Well, we are busy things. on this, okay. especially on the clear one. Over 10% of the stock has already gone. 780061. So, obviously, what you're aiming for is lots of texture within a small area. And um, I've used it on the bottle for the Sea Maven uh, yeah. on the bottom there. But um, it's entirely up to you how you use it. I've, um, like I say, folded this one up so it really, really does give lots of nice um, detail there. Uh, so you can that's see a wonderful effect, Anthony, isn't and, it? And then that is actually organza, so I use the clear. But then I used my favourite paint on that one, I must say, the, the, the white pearl, yeah, to pick up on that. And then we've also got another one of my favourites, they're all favourites, and that's the unicorn paste as well. So oh, there's wow. lots of different um, mediums that, that we've got on this effect. show. Oh, I'm impressed with that. And the actual bottle much. itself was decorated with the mica powders. Okay, so... Um, Ooh, all of which available at the all moment. All of which available. So once I've actually done that, um, then, like I say, I've painted it and then I've just highlighted it. So I'm just going to use, um, and this is the... This one's called the Brass Hardware. Okay, another one of my favourite colours, this one. So although I've already gone over it, I've gone over that once. I just want to highlight that a little bit more. Okay. So I just put it onto a sponge, okay, and then literally... Just brush over. You can see there, the, the, that's really bringing that up now. Okay, so maybe you want one Ooh, coat, nice. maybe you want two, but I just, it is just like dry brushing on a, on a large scale when you're using a big, big sponge. But you can see that really does, just does accentuate all of those folds in the material. So the more folds you get, the more interesting your finished piece is going to be, and that's what it's all about. And of course, with the pick and mix as well, Anthony, you can mix the colours together, I presume? You can, you can do oh, indeed. Yes. Do you know what, I'm, I'm going to be really naughty. I'm, I'm going to leave that for a moment, and I'm just going to show you okay. my favourite colour. Guess okay, what because, is the viewer's favourite, the customer's <gasps> favourite, with the alchemy paints? Is it, is it the same one? Yeah. It is. But well, you know, I've got to show you, take you this. Take Anthony's advice. But you know, I, I, I was literally blown away by it. So I'm taking that detour again. Although I hope That's I don't have. Fine. Although Do I know, hope I nice don't have a detour everything. on the way home tonight, though. Like I always have done for the past two shows. A one closed. Oh dear. Right. Let's just show you. Okay. So I'm just going to pop this, and this is the colour. Okay. Do you need that? to mix them, Anthony, when you've taken the lid off? I, I normally shake them Just beforehand, shake them but make sure you've got a lid on, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously <laughs> I've yeah. done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have. So this is onto a white card, OK? And you can hardly see any difference oh, at it's all. Catching the can light. You I can just, see can we see that from... Let's have a look. There we go. Just a... Just oh, there, ah, there we go. Yeah. If I hold it like so... So it's got a little bit of a... Slight blue tinge, just yeah. a very slight. Right, let's, let's go on to the black. <coughs> oh, Ooh, nice. So straight onto your gesso finishes as well then. Oh, so wow, it that, really is blue on the black, That is the it? difference. So <clears throat> when we used the, um, the, the art pearls... Oh, these okay, are new, aren't they? What I basically did, I just painted on the back, like so, and if, can you hold up that bottle again with the, um, the Sea Maven as you're holding it? If you get it in the right light, you can see a blue tinge actually showing through on the pearl that she's actually holding. 
Let's see if we can get that with the yeah. kind of the lighting. But you just keep on and then drying it and then just go over again. But you can see, and it's on the, it's the, it's the pearl that she's actually holding. Oh, the, yep, the um, big there pearl. There we go. We but you can see for a minute. if you, oh, if yes, you hold, can you see the blue? And that is because this is painted on the back of there. So it's a beautiful so colour. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so even though it is white, well, obviously when you mix paints, you automatically think, I want to lighten that colour, I'm going to add white. Don't in this instance because it is actually a blue. Yeah. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Right, okay. detour over. Okay, right. But that is, a, is an amazing colour, great for just adding that little bit of highlight. So back to this. So we've um, just gone over with that. Okay. Leave that on to dry. And then we're going to yep. bring in, and we're going to bring in those um, pearls again. Okay, because as well as being used like that, where you can actually paint on the reverse of them, you can also put in, can we actually see that one? This one's really tinsy wincy look oh, at that. Wow. This but is so nice. I'll, I'll show you how I've done that. Okay, so that is actually magnified. Is okay, it? because it's magnified. And let me just bring in, going for the detour again. <gasps> right, dreadful. Right. Oh dear, now they go everywhere. <laughs> right, oh, let's just let's just paper. bring let's just bring this in. Okay, so we've got this butterfly just here. Okay, so if we can just can we zoom in with the overhead? Mm. Or can we not? Can we? We can see. Oh, okay. There we go. Now I'm going to place this over. So you can see straight away. Look at this. And now we have a huge butterfly. Can I, shall I hold it to, to that see. camera? That's it. We've got it. Look at that. Okay. So just take it off again. Just take that way. Again. Okay. And then okay. pop that back on. And hey, oh. presto, you have made your own little embellishment. Now, what you're going to be needing to stick that on is, is the good old glossy accents. Okay. Okay. Yep. So literally, just pop that on. I've got three that I'm going to put into this project. Just a little bit like that. Okay. And then just pop that over there and just squeeze it out. And you'll see that it just oozes out the side there. But just let that one dry. Okay, that and then you have made your own little embellishments. You're going to get, I do believe, 40, is it 48 in here? Or is it 42? 46, I believe. Oh, there is oh it's either side now. Yeah, you just need a bit of middle. <laughs> so there's lots of different sizes in there. <clears throat> there's a, there's, um, let's have a look. Yeah, this is the, this is the biggest. Okay, that is the biggest. Oh, wow. Right, so that is huge. And then these are going to roll everywhere if I tip them out. But do you know what? They're, oh, they're, they're so good. behind that large one there. Yeah, yeah. And then this is the smallest, and oh. there's everything in between. Oh. Okay, so there we go. So these that's the largest, useful, that's the smallest, and there's everything in between. There's a real great assortment, as you said, 46 in there. But Love you it. can just use them to magnify. And, you know, possibly if you've got a... Um, like um, a stamp that's got lots of wording in, but you want to emphasize yes. one word like love or yeah. something like that. Just place it over, oh, I like that place idea. it over that, and then you're going to be good to go. Don't forget to go for yours. They're on the screen. Nine pounds and fifty pence. Four two seven two two two. Are we all right to have a bit of a recap? Yeah, Anthony, go on. And come yeah, back yeah. to you while you just tidy those up. So let's have another look at the one day special. Of course, Anthony's been using the moulds. He did start showing us how to use these moulds. Very busy on these as well. You are getting two separate moulds in the one day special. Brand, brand new today as well. And of course, you've got the butterflies there with the postage stamps as well. But we've also got the aviary, which you can see the birds. You've got the branches. You've got those beautiful blossoms. Love the fact that you've got the birds in flight. You've got a bird that's just sort of sat there with its wings folded as well and there's another bird to go with it as well so all different in design and then of course those butterflies with the postage stamps we are approaching 30 percent of the stock now gone they work beaut beautifully together they work beautifully on their own there's so many individual elements within those two moulds we're just looking at a few more samples here as well and of course being the one day special you are making a saving you are saving six pounds 29 pounds and 98 pence 587 now you can can go for those individually if you want to the saving obviously in the one day special but if you've got a firm favorite you can go individually plus we've got two more for you to choose from as well so let's give you a reminder of those each one of the molds is five by eight inches you've got multiple pieces in here that you can make so the fish is in there gorgeous detail again you've got the corals as you can see there so you're going under the sea and then we've got that wonderful wonderful what do we call her um sea maven I've never heard I've that never before. Heard that, no. 
We thought it was a spelling mistake to start with, but we've checked, <laughs> and apparently it's not. It's the C Maven. There she, she's beautiful as well, isn't she? Really go to town with those scales using your different paints and shimmers, though, alchemy paints as well. Now, 10% of the C Maven has gone. This is on the individual to remember, 17 pounds and 99 pence, 386, 467 is the item number. And then, of course, we've got more for you as well <coughs> because we've got those rub-ons as well. Absolutely beautiful. A couple of different choices for you here. Uh, the first one, Versailles, or Versailles, is the first one. So we can see those black rub-ons there. Very fine detail. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it, they are stunning, aren't they? And then, of course, we've got that kind of watercolour effect there. It's the watercolour fantasy. So we're going to look at those as well. They're the brighter ones, so really beautiful. Each one comes with that rub-on stick as well. I would take Anthony's advice. Cut these out individually before you apply them to your surface because if you try doing it on the full sheet, you may rub off more than you need. 275366 is the item number, just £10.98. And, and then, of course, when it comes to that paper pad, and now I've seen what Anthony's just done with those little, uh, those little gems as well stunning absolutely stunning so what we're going to do, show you here are these papers again some of them will be the right way as so i've got them horizontally some will work either way some may want to be a little bit more vertical but do you know what it's easy for the camera as i'm flicking through just to show you these all horizontally beautiful detail they're double-sided but we've got these sets so i don't need to keep flicking them over for you so you are seeing sort of both sides at the same time so to speak the colour palette is absolutely amazing. The detail is incredible. The quality, again, second to none. There's that piece that Anthony was using with a little butterfly on there as well. I have got a firm favourite sheet, but I don't have to choose a favourite because you are getting 30 sheets. They are beautiful. Let me just find that floral again because Anthony said it was his favourite as well. Well, that's very, very nice. It is stunning. But our favourite is that one. Oh, that is so nice, isn't it? 424799 is the item number. And then, of course, we've got the Finnebeth stencils as well. There's two to choose from, one item number. Now, the one that's in the lead is Read My Letter. I'm not surprised, actually. Anything with script seems very, very popular, but the floral isn't far behind. So we'll have a look at both of them. Item number 397359, just 1099. And you can see a really good size stencil, six inches by nine inches. Isn't that pretty? It's like a piece of lace, isn't it? Gorgeous. Just having a good look at those there. Brand new today again. We've got so many goodies on the show for you as well. Don't forget about your air dry clay as well. We've got the FMM air dry clay. <coughs> Everything's on the website. We're just looking really closely at the detail on these stencils because they are wonderful. These are stencils you're going to use so many times over. Does that say 300 there? I'm trying to read. We keep seeing different bits. Office. I'm going to have to find. I'm going to have to find out. I wonder if it's somebody who's getting um, a nice letter or not such a nice letter there from the office. <laughs> oh, who knows? Who knows? Interesting. I like to read these things. You see, when we get stamps and stencils. Now, when it comes to using your mediums, we've got those wonderful metallic, metallic or metallic <coughs> paints. This is your emerald green. These are your alchemies. Remember the coral reef. Oh, I do like that. Dark forest, beautiful. There's Anthony's favourite, the white pearl. There we've got the brass hardware for you. And of course, we've got deep waters, that wonderful blue. 713159, any two for 1398. Let's see what we've got for you now. Something else we haven't seen on the counter. We've got the Art Extravagance Unicorn Paste. That doesn't do it any favours, does it? <laughs> oh, well, the name, the yeah. name tells me this is going to be something magnificent. I think we need Anthony's help on this one. Fourteen pounds and fifty pence is the price. Seven zero six two four three. We need to know more about this, don't we? Let's ask Anthony all about right, that. Right. Okay. There's two different paces. One called Gold Nugget. And then there's this one called okay. um, Unicorn Paste. But what it is it? It's one of my favourites. Again, everyone knows <clears throat> that I love holographic. OK, and this is exactly what's actually embedded in there. Uh -huh. So if I just undo this one, OK, it is a texture paste, so it will go through stencils, but that's the... Can you, oh, nice. can you, see, can you see the actual iridescence, yeah. the holographic shards in, in there. there as well? So that's going to dry clear. Yeah. 
but it would just be the um, the holographic um, shards in there and glitter that will remain. So I do believe I've got it on that bottle again with the Sea Maven in. Do you know, I wonder what the, the <coughs> glitter, I was going to ask yeah, you, because I is, can't just that's side what it that. is as well. So where the fish is like poking out of the um, fabric at the, the bottom, so it's round the other side. So keep on okay, I'll twisting keep around. Spinning it's all the way around. You do you get glints of it. I did notice that before. And there Where's we go. The it's just starting to come in just there under that pink fish. You've got a little bit of it. So it's very shiny. I'm just going to, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Hopefully, And can then see it where that home. fish is poking out there, there's lots of it actually Ooh, inside yes. there. So it Ooh, almost looks like water. So nice. It's really, really pretty. And it's got that, that iridescent nice, holographic glitter in there as well. So it's a must have, <laughs> an absolute must have. Oh, I hope that picks up well on your screens because seriously, in the studio here, that looks absolutely amazing. Fourteen pounds and fifty pence, seven zero six two four three. Okay. Right, Anthony, right. back to the demonstration. So we've, we've, we've got our frame, we've added a little bit of detail. I've dry brushed over all of all of that. I'm just going around the edge. So we're using the metallic, well, metallic paints, and this is the brass hardware. So again, a really, really nice colour to, to go with the green chalk paint that I've painted on there earlier. So just keep on, just go around there. And then I'm also going to use that to then highlight some of the butterflies that are also oh, on there so that's a real quick and easy way of doing the dry brush technique and just get that wonderful look which brings out all of the detail straight away okay. and of course again that was the fmm clay that's the fmm clay brown. yep colored it brown those dry and then this the is the shades. large one as well and like i say because <clears throat> how i've um let them dry they are just slightly i think you can see more with this one there we go. He's, he's not sitting exactly flat, so it just does look yeah. like he's sort of flying away. So again, we're just going to go over the top of this butterfly. So just brush that on there. And like I say, you do want to make sure this is um, totally dry before you do this, because obviously you're going to then brush <coughs> texture into the wet clay if it is still wet. So just like I say, overnight, a couple of hours, possibly, depending obviously the heat. In your house but don't whatever you do force dry with a heat tool because i don't know if you ever tried it but it's all like inflates it gives a nice yeah, texture you, but you it doesn't scorch really work it as well. and you could and scorch it it yeah. weakens the clay i've, I've it, yes I've it tested does it, many it, times. It, it dries it too quickly yeah. yeah so there we go we just added a lot of dry brushing to that then we had from earlier the beautiful um, blossom okay and again we're just going to go over that so that's it before and you can see there's not there's lots of detail in there but at the moment you can't really see it so just going to quickly just they're brush not over the sizes, that sizes aren't they Anthony as well because they're oh. not too big for your cards no they're this not is too this is what I really decor. like and obviously if you're going to be wanting to use it for your cards then the FMM clay is the clay to go for because it is ultra lightweight it's made of paper pulp and glue and literally it's weightless i'm going to do half of this so you can just see like i say the detail was hidden but there we go even just by doing that half you can see Love the that. before and the after but it's yeah. just brushing over with a little bit of paint just to bring out all of that fantastic detail now the the postage stamp part what i've done there i've actually just um once it's been cast i then just cut off um, a straight line and I'm just going to glue these into place. Let me just see if I can okay. find my just glue. Just you're getting your glue. We've had yeah. an interesting email in, oh. actually. This is from Dave and Brig. Oh, good evening. Uh, lovely couple. Now, a maven, apparently, is a trusted expert in any field. So it doesn't have to be, or ah, in a particular field. Right. So it doesn't have to be under the sea. Under the sea. Ah. So she's obviously our lovely lady there. She's obviously an expert of everything underwater, Und underwater. under the sea yeah. now that's why you could say she could there. be holding that crystal ball couldn't she there there we go not my words ah. i could be apparently a craft maven well, i quite go. like that there we go <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that dave and brig do you know i genuinely have never heard of a maven no. before there we go we, we learn something every day don't we we, we do. certainly do so, education all the way that's what we get here so we we're saying about the transfers earlier and you can see i always just cut them out because you know we, we both said if you try to use them in their entirety then more likely you are going to rub a 
piece of the one next to the one you're meant to be rubbing. So just cut them out with a pair of scissors beforehand. And I'm just going to place this one over here. You're going to get the lolly stick in there. And of course, as we're all crafters, these work extremely well for mixing paints, etc. So don't throw them away after you've actually used them, all your, all your rub off, rub ons. So there we go. So just keep on going round and then just peel up the side. And this is actually, like I say, onto um, mulberry paper and yeah. onto wood. So it's actually going on two surfaces here. Okay. So then just pop and that again, down. And you again, know, you know I love my upcycling lantern, but you, everybody yeah. just look around what you've got at home because you will find so many things this that you can thing. upcycle yes. using everything we've got on the show, whether it be the moulds, whether it be the, the alchemy paints, whether it be the rub-ons, you know, even the stamps as well. It is a day and age, isn't it, now, where we've really got to be careful what it we is. do with our things. It is, it is absolutely. It has been a throwaway society, yeah. and especially in crafting, yeah. we don't want that. We want to no. reuse everything. And this is just an old frame. The glass had broken, yeah. hence, you know, there's no glass in it. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, well, what can you do with it? So, yeah, it is just all about upcycling. But these, like I say, the, the postage marks. So, again, you know, just highlighting them with a little bit of the, um, the paint there. It's just going to really, really make them stand out. Let's go to that one there. And you can see this is this one we actually cast early, but now we've actually got that on. Let me just bring that one back in. OK, so you can see the difference between the two. It just does make it look a little bit more it older does, isn't and it? obviously a bit shinier. These are great for your albums and journals as well, aren't they? Do you know what? Yes, they are. Now, I'm just going to place these actually one over the top. OK, this is exactly the same mould, OK, but often people don't realise that the clay does actually shrink. Yeah. OK, so it's going to shrink about 10%. OK, but that is just basically the moisture um, being taken out of the clay. So it's, 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 it's not, it's, all, no, not, not to, in actual fact, I think it increases it yeah. because it gets smaller. So we used the, the art pebbles earlier. So I've already stuck in three of those little elements. We're just going to have those going down the side here, okay. just to add a little bit of detail just onto there. So I three of those, but like I say, in total, 36 in that little pot, so you're going to be using 46, those. 46, Anthony. Did I say, you're what doing I this again. 36, did I, you did said. I say 36, 46. Uh, well, that's what I heard. Well, <laughs> I thought I said regardless 46, of but how many in there, we're busy on them because half of the stock has oh, gone. I love, yeah, I love working with them because they're, they in, they're, they're different sizes as well. You know, you're going to find the right size for the right project. So we're just going to pop those there and just add a little bit of detail to that. Then we've got our blossom that we're going to put in. Now, obviously, if you wanted to actually have this like coming over the, the edge of the frame, and let me just bring in the one that's probably still a little bit damp. Yeah. So you can, once it's actually been cast, you can manipulate it and don't apply pressure to it as such, but just very, very gently just manipulate it. So if you wanted it going over the edge of the frame, you can do that. And again, just let that dry in place. And then once it's dried, you can go back in and paint it and then glue it into position. Lovely. So there we go, there's that one. So let's just pop these little butterflies actually into place. So again, we're just gonna use a little bit of silicon glue. Okay, so we're gonna pop one just about, let's have a look. We're doing well for time, Anton. We've still got about eight minutes left. About eight minutes, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that little butterfly. So a little butterfly there. And like I say, having the wings also um, dried in, in, in position just makes it a little bit more dimensional. We'll have a butterfly going this way as well. And again, because you've got all that beautiful texture and dimension in the background there created by the sculpting paste, you can really go to town and you know, this is truly a, a mixed media little um, piece of work here. And again, we're just gonna pop this one just in there, just so it goes over the edge. It. And we have upcycled our frame with lots of oh, different elements. It's wonderful. And only using one colour of the paint there as well, and it looks magnificent. Yeah, indeed. All, all, the only other thing I've added there was the chalk paint, which yeah. is the green, and that, that was it. Yeah. And everything else is what we've got on the show, so, we have the, the rub-ons, obviously the one day special, the two moulds there, um, the sculpting um, for the fabric, and um, let's have a look what else have we got there. I think that was probably it. And the mouldings around the edge are actually from a previous yes, mould that we've had on Prima as well. I think it was the show that I did with you. I think it probably so was the very it was, first one. It was one, indeed. Yes, it? It did indeed with Prima. the first one. 
Oh, so many of you will have that also as Indeed. well. Let's have a bit of a recap. Let's go back to the one day special because this really is the star of the show, isn't it? Now, a six pound saving will get you the two moulds, but that isn't two castings you're going to get. You're going to get multiple castings as many times as you want because these moulds are going to last as long as you look after them, of course. I think, was it 20 castings we can make? Individual elements 20 in there? 20 elements in total. So there's, yeah, Wonderful. an awful lot. So many different butterflies in different sizes as well. Different positions. You've got butterflies with outspread wings. You've got a butterfly landing there as well. And, of course, you've also got the aviary as well with the blossoms, the branches and the birds. Now, just a reminder that dispatch date is from the 24th of November. These are coming from America. Uh, well worth the wait as well. Still plenty of time, hopefully, to be making your projects, even if you want to make things for Christmas as well. Maybe you're gifted for Christmas. doesn't have to be Christmas-themed, does it? £6 saving, £29.98, 587 three four four now if you've got a firm favorite or maybe your budget's a little bit tighter at the moment and you can only afford one of those you can go for them individually not only that we do have two more for you to choose from as well so under this next item number you have got those choices so you've got your coral wreath and you've also got your sea maven there now these are neck and neck i think that most of you are going for the pair because they go so well together. And I can tell you, on the individu ind individuals as well, it's neck and neck on the two in the one day special. So that makes me think, is somebody going for those and not going for the one day special and paying more than they need to do? I hope you're not. Just remember that if you want both from the one day special, make sure it's the one day special number because you're saving six pounds, bottom of the screen. Okay, right. Lots of you are buying more than one mold. Maybe you're going for one from the one day special and one from the other selection. Now, of course, we have got those options all available still for you. 386467. And then, of course, the rub-ons as well. Now, the rub-ons, you've seen Anthony using these in that demonstration, or at least one of them, or a very small amount of one of these sets here. Versailles, and also we've got the watercolour ones for you as well. They're both under that item number, but you've got the choices. 275366 is the item number. And the size of these as well, 6 inches by 9 inches. We're looking at Versailles there. That's the first option for you. That most beautiful detail in there. All those flourishes and very, very fine detail. And then the watercolour fantasy. Now, you can put these on all sorts of different surfaces as well. You may or may not need to seal them, depending on the surface. But you've got lots of options. There they are, in all their glory. Beautiful colours in the watercolours as well, aren't they? £10.98. And, and then, of course, the beautiful, beautiful paper pad. Midnight Garden. You can see why it's called that, can't you? I'm starting with mine and Anthony's favourite sheet in the book. You're getting everything you've seen here. These are double-sided, but again, I'm not going to flip these over. They're already set so you can see them. The colour in there is absolutely stunning. The price is just £13.99. and pence. You are getting... 30 double sided sheets here you've got backgrounds you've got elements you can cut into you've got the feathers as well you've got tags in here you've got distressed edges you can over stamp you can spray you can color in different ways the ferns and the leaves are absolutely beautiful as well do you know these are truly truly stunning that's one of my favorite pages as well i do like those florals but that one is so useful as well beautiful and there's more. I've not gone through them all there. But item number 424799. And then, of course, the stencils. You're liking these as well. Now, there's two different options under one item number. If you want them both, you can. Just make sure you put two in your basket and choose one of each option. Six by nine inches is the size of the stencils. You've got the floral net. Was it there? Floral net. There it is. It's like a piece of lace, isn't it? Or read my letter. I was trying to read that letter, but I didn't get a chance to get it from top to bottom. I am going to do that. Oh, medical. Is that the word I can see there? I'm desperate to know what this says. 21. We've seen, the, oh, yes, 321. One cents. I've got to read this. I'm intrigued. 397359 is the item number. I think we're all safe. I don't think it's a your fired letter for any of us here in the studio today. Thank goodness for that. Uh, over to the website. That's what we're going to look at next because, of course, that's where you're going to find absolutely everything. The Midnight Gardens there, those metallic paints, beautiful. Very busy on those as well. You've got to pick and mix. Oh, don't forget about the Sculpture Medium, especially the clear one. It is very, very busy. Oh, the Unicorn Paste as well is also there. 
Very, very nice indeed. Uh, with Golden Nugget, we've not seen that one, but we, neither have we seen these. These are from Finibear as well, the Mica set. Now, Anthony did say to use Mica on the bottle that we've got on the set, so I can see they're absolutely stunning. Look at those colours once again. Great price for a whole set of Micas, $16.99. Wow, I think we need to see more of those throughout the other shows. Of course, this is only the launch, so that means Anthony's back again a little bit later on tonight. And of course, during the process of tomorrow as well, you'll see more from Anthony and all these wonderful mediums. Anthony, what are you doing there? Because I can see you're what, still playing well, with clay. Well, we were saying about that, those papers, weren't we? we were, oh, we were, you've the, used the favourite. This is my favourite, yeah, your favourite as well. So this is just uh, an old box, and you can see I've, I purposely left it so you can see it. It is an old box. It's not one that I've just found somewhere what well, it is sort of but you know what I mean it's a Christmas <laughs> one okay? okay so I have just decorated just using the papers okay so I'm not going to bore you on how to do that everyone knows it's just like wrapping a wrapping a present yeah. really and then I've gone for what is the reverse oh, of that paper for the actual it. lid and I have just popped on the side that there just beautiful. one of the molds okay the, wow. one of the castings do you know we're, we're in almost into the last 30 seconds of the show Anthony would you there believe it there we go yeah. Oh, just turn that around and I've noticed one of the little birds on oh, the little birds, well. yeah, it, oh, that's on the that side lovely? there. So again, just that's upcycling, the that's what it's well. all about. Bottom mm. of the screen for the one day special, everybody. Please check those baskets out. We have no idea where stock will be by the time we see you again because we make the sales in between as well. Anthony, thank you so, so Absolute much. Absolute pleasure, Catherine. Thank you. See you tomorrow. I think we've got another show together tomorrow, actually. Um, yes, please check those baskets out. Busy on the one day special, busy across the board. 30% of the one day special gone. I'm going to go and see you. Hello now, I've got another hour.